Hello everyone. In this video, we will introduce chapter 27, hashing. The preceding chapters introduced search trees. An element can be found in order of login time in a well-balanced search tree. Is there a more efficient way to search for an element in a container. This chapter introduces a technique called hashing. You can use hashing to implement a map or a set to search, insert, and delete an element in order of one time. Please recall that a map is a data structure that stores entries. Each entry contains two parts, key and value. The key is also called a search key, which is used to search for the corresponding value. For example, a dictionary can be stored in a map where the words are the keys and the definition of the words are the values. A map is also called a dictionary or a hash table or an associative array. The new trend is to use the term map. What is hash? If you know the index of an element in the array, you can retrieve the element using the index in order of one time. So you can store the values in an array and use the key as the index to find the value. So can we do this? Can we store the values in an array and use the key as the index to find the value? The answer is yes, if you can map a key to an index. The array that stores the values is called a hash table. The function that maps a key to an index in the hash table is called a hash function. Hashing is a technique that retrieves the value using the index obtained from key without performing a search. Let's look at this diagram. We're going to have this hash function and hash code. In Java, every object has the hash code method that returns an integer value. This value is called a hash code. And this hash code can then be compressed to the hash table. So here's the, you're going to have a hash code and then have this hash code compressed into the index i. So this is from the key map it to the index on the table. This is the entry. The entry is stored at this location at index i and for the key with this hash code value. Now what happens when you have this hash function and the hash function maps multiple keys to the same location. This will cause a collision. We can process the collision using an approach called linear probing. Let's look at this example. Suppose we have the uh, table size is 11. So the index is from zero to 10. For simplicity, 
let's use the uh, integer as the key. And the uh, table size is, is 11. So we're going to have this key uh, map it to the index. So the complexity, and he is compressed now into this index. Key is 44 is now 0. And 4 is um, 4. And 16 is 5. And 28 is 6. Now let's insert 26. 26, remember, 11 is 4. It's already occupied. So the linear proving is you're going to find the next available location. Next until here is available. So you're going to put 26 right here. So this is called a linear proving. When you perform a search, you're going to do the same thing. Search, see if 26 is in the table. So map 26 into this index 4. And this is not a match. Next is not a match. Next is not a match, but here, 26 is right here. It's a match. Let's look at this animation for linear probing. We're going to insert 26. Insert 26. Now, you see 26 is I put this uh, search key in the wrong place. This is the uh, table size, so that is uh, not right. So let's do this, uh, um, go back to this table size and to back to the uh, 11. So the put the key right here, 26. Now, 26 is here. In this animation, you can change the table size. The initial size now is 11. And the uh, if you have more keys, and the table size will be automatically changed here is um, look at this table size is 11 number of the keys right now is uh, six, the current load. So the load is this 55% means this table is 55% of full. There's a load factor threshold is 75%. That means the maximum you can have is 75%. If, if you have more keys to put into the table that exceeds the threshold, and then you have to perform internally, increase the size of the table and rehash the keys. Let's perform a search. 26 is in the hash set. Let's see 11. Search for 11 and 11 is not in the hash set. So what do we do is here and I go to uh, 11. It's mapped to this index zero and this is 44 not 11 the next one is nothing empty so there's no more to search so 11 is not in the set all right so now i'm going to delete 16 so i'm going to have this 16 delete remove remove 16 now when you remove it you're going to put the special marker this is close, is a special mark, it means this is available for insertion. But when you perform a search, you have to continue to search the next location after this marker. So now we're gonna search for this 26, and you're gonna see 26 mapped to this index four, no match. And then this is available location, and, but it's not empty. So you have to go down to search for the next one, see uh, six, index six, no match, and now uh, this is 26. So this is to perform a search. That's all for this video. In the next video, we will introduce another approach for resolving the collection.